Hey guys, before you watch this video, real quick, so sorry we haven't posted in like four weeks. It's not because- Dude, I just had the best poop of my life. <laughs> like I had to flush like three times for it to get out of the toilet. Oh, that's great. School started and so we've been kind of procrastinating on posting, but there's a lot of big projects brewing. So be excited about those. As you can see, we got weird podcasts set up and it'll be fun. Also, we've been in the process of making new merch for Christmas, so we get excited for that. Yeah, that's it. Enjoy the video. And what if that guy was like, has a butterfly effect? <laughs> it gets progressively harder. This happens to all of us. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be playing Can You Survive the Butterfly Effect? Do you guys know what the butterfly effect is? It's the effect of butterflies. <laughs> I hate you. The butterfly effect is when one small change at a certain spot can cause a big change somewhere else. If you stepped on a butterfly a million years ago, it will have a huge impact in today's world. Now this phenomenon is related to something called the chaos theory. And as far as I understood it, a chaos theory means that even in chaos, there is order to things. So if you change something from the chaos, something drastic will eventually happen. It's kind of like Mass Effect where each option you choose, there's a different outcome. Exactly. exactly. Have you guys ever seen the movie Butterfly Effect? So in the movie, like Ashton Kutcher, right? Like yeah. super handsome. And he's, yeah. he finds out that if he reads his journal, he can go to like the past and then he can alter what happened and it'll jump back into the future. Yeah. And then it'll show what happened in the future. And every time he reverses time, it just gets worse and worse and eventually he realizes that he should have never reversed time in the first place. So today we're gonna see if we can survive in the world where we can travel back into the past and fix something. Wait, you built a time machine? <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's the concept, okay? Okay. Both of you are on a double date. Not with each other, right? No, 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 no. Okay. With, with, with two yeah. other girls. Okay. Before they arrived, they accidentally stepped on poop. Unfortunate. But they needed to get to the date since they were already late. And when they arrived, they smelt like poop. So the dates left them. They both think you guys pooped your pants and they leave. But wow. remember Daniel telling you to download an app. It's a time machine app where you can reverse time one hour before something happened. And they arrived to the point where they were just about to step on the poop. Now they have four choices. Scoop, throw away shoes, avoid, or go home. Knowing that the girls left me because I smell like poo, I'd probably just go home because they're not worth it. <laughs> Imagine going on a date with poo pants. Hey, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> She's Is nice like to meet you too. <laughs> At least then you know it's a keeper. So it's like if we go home, we Guys, miss our chance. Just choose one. Avoiding seems too easy. They yeah. have they having so much trouble choosing one. <laughs> this is the easiest one. It gets progressively harder. Just avoid the poo. Okay, avoid the no, poo. No, no, but that seems too easy. Because <laughs> what we throw away what the shoe. If we avoid the poo, someone else steps into the poo. And what if that guy was like, has a butterfly effect and that guy does something and then all of a sudden Trump gets reelected? <laughs> so we can't avoid the poo. I think we throw away the shoe. Okay, cool. Throw away, throw away the shoe. We're both dead. We're both dead. So you choose to step on the poop and just throw away the shoes. You get to the date with one shoe each and your dates seem a little curious about the situation. So they ask, what happened with your shoes? That was the correct choice. That's Wait, Would what? You like eh? to, yeah, that was the correct choice. Hell yeah. If you avoid the poop, you get to the date just fine. But then your stomach starts to hurt. Since you didn't step on the poop, a chef that works at the same restaurant stepped on the poop instead of you and ended up infecting all the restaurant foods. So Nelly and Theo reverse this time. Now you can try scooping up the poop. But turns out your hands smell like poop and your dates hate them and they leave. You can go home, but you feel a little sad so you end up pressing the button again to reverse time. So let's go to the next scenario. All right. Okay, so you guys are on this date. You walk in with one shoe each. So they obviously ask you, why do you guys each have one shoes? Now you have four options. You can lie, truth, did you know, or shh. <laughs> or shh. You can. <laughs> 
Well, like, obviously it's your first date, right? Yeah. So you're gonna do what you do in every first date. And lie. <laughs> <laughs> you lie to her by telling her that someone stole your shoes. Damn it, that's not a good lie. So if you pick lie, you can say, somebody stole my shoe. They realize you're lying to them, and they say, we don't date boys who lie. So that's what happens? Yeah. That's, that's fine. Okay, yeah. No, they left. No, I want the girls to stay. But I'm still getting dinner with Theo. <laughs> <laughs> What's the problem? The truth? The oh. truth. You can tell the truth. Hey, babe, good question. Well, I continue to reverse time with my ab, but turns out every other choice that I made to not step on the poop led to a disastrous state, so I decided to step on a poop and throw away the shoe. They say, well, if you're gonna lie about it, then I don't want to date you. And they leave. Did you know? No, you sound like an annoying douche. What? You go on a date and you're just like, well, did you know that it's better to have oh, one so shoe like... than two shoes? This is the newest fashion trend. Shut the f Now you say, did you know that wearing one shoe actually helps your balance a lot? It helps you control your chakra and your chi into a zen state. And then the girl goes, really? That's interesting. Tell me more. <laughs> and your date goes successfully. Just, did you write this? Yeah, well, Why are one. we dating these girls? <laughs> and then it works. Why are they okay with it's that? It's successful. <laughs> God damn it. Why do we date these weirdos? Because <laughs> they're hot. Oh, fair. Now your date goes successfully and you think to yourself, man, I did not think this app would work. I could do anything with this. So you have four options. Tell my friends, superhero, lottery, or nothing. Okay, wait, I guess we're just constantly going back in time, right? We're just time travelers. Yeah, we're going back in time after that one. <laughs> so you try to use your power to win a lottery. And when you do win, in excitement, you proclaim that you have won the lottery ticket. And then somebody mugs you and stabs you in the stomach to steal your lottery ticket. Okay, we're, yeah, the lottery's oh. perfect. Win-win. <laughs> Just before your death, you press the button and come back into the past. Superhero! Ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> you decide to become a superhero. You try to help by reversing time and telling the cops when something is about to go down. When you tell the cops that, hey, there's about to be a bank robbery, they say, how do you know? And you become associated with a bank robbery. <laughs> so you reverse time and think, maybe this isn't the right choice either. So you decide to tell your friends and they say, wow, that's really cool. Can I see that for a second? So you give it to them and they steal it and run away. Yeah, no, tell my friends is definitely not the play, right? You decide to do nothing. By doing nothing, you will never have any special abilities. But every time you use this power, you feel like something is wrong. Every decision you make with this power always leads to a worse outcome. So you decide to hold off on using this power until you understand it more. <laughs> this is the butterfly effect. Let's go to another room. It's literally black outside and there's no background right now. Which is <laughs> spooky because things are about to take a dark turn. Uh -oh. Metaphor. You've sworn off using this time machine app, but when you're walking along, you see an old man get hit by a bus. In a panic, you press the button. You reverse time and you think to yourself, how can I make this old man not cross the street? You have four choices. Bus, Push, avoid it, or distraction. You push the old man out of the way, but you in return gets hit by the bus. Your bones are broken, but you just managed to press the button to reverse time. Yo, should we do that thing? YouTubers do it all the time. What would you do? Leave it in the comments below. <laughs> yeah, leave it in my comment section on any of my videos, and I will gladly take your view. <laughs> you can try to tell the bus driver to stop, so you try to go to the bus station and catch that bus. But by the time you get there, the bus driver already closed the door and left. Because that's so what bus drivers dies. do. They don't wait and just leave. Sorry, I got a little personal. Avoid it. Now you can avoid the situation just by going to a different side of the street and just not see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you choose distraction and you tell the old man, hey, can I ask you for some directions? The old man says, sorry, I'm busy, and tries to walk across the street. As soon as he does, the bus swings by right in front of his face, saving him barely. So that was the right answer. Oh, damn it. Oh. I was really waiting for the but. Right after, the girlfriend gets a call saying they were robbed. 
not only was it just random you know money related stuff but it was house heirlooms like jewelries like things that have real value. sentimental value Your girlfriend starts crying and you feel so bad that you feel like you need to reverse time one more time let's go to the next spot so you decide to reverse time just one more time it feels like every time you do it things are getting riskier but you choose to do it again you reverse time you're about to enter into your girlfriend's house and what do you do three choices report acceptance or time travel acceptance like ah oh, you're gonna get robbed anyways <laughs> i think i think acceptance is a play acceptance you try telling your girlfriend, I'm sorry, babe, it be like that sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, babe. It really do be like that sometimes. <laughs> so it wasn't the right answer? No. Time travel. You, you don't want to report it to the cops? It's... No, I'm not a snitch. Sex the most... end up in ditches. This is the most, like, proper answer there is when something <laughs> happens. You report it to the cops. Yeah, but... If there's somebody robbing your house, you call the cops. Report. You reverse time and you tell the cops that this house is just about to be robbed. So then the cops go to the house and capture the robbers. So they ask you how you knew, and you say, I can't tell you. So then they expect you of the same crime and arrest you as well. That guy's ending up in my basement. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> time travel. Yeah. So you choose time travel, and so you go back in time and go to your girlfriend's house. You fight with the robber, then the robber hits you in the head so hard you feel like you're about to pass out. In a panic, you grab a knife and you stab him in the stomach, and both of you pass out. A week later, you're in the hospital. When you try to get up, your hands are cuffed. They tell you that the robber died by your knife wound. You are being sentenced to jail for 15 years for manslaughter. And you beg for your phone, you plead with the guards, and the guard feels sorry for you, so he gives you your phone. And you have one option. Phone. Dude, we are so pooped out of luck here. In disbelief, you try pressing the button again and again, but it repeats the cycle of you ending up in prison and never escaping. Dude, your girlfriend sucks. Yeah, well, yeah, she just breaks don't... up with you. She breaks up with you? <laughs> I just did 15 years so she gets her shit back? And she breaks up with you? I'm done, dude. I hate girls. No. Uh, I don't like girls anymore. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, I guess the moral of the story is not date. No, that that wasn't the moral. <laughs> you think baby Hitler would be able to take a single punch a from five me? five-year-old Hitler. I would knock five-year-old Hitler's off his damn neck. Dude, up until he's about 15, I don't think he can take a punch from me. 15-year-old Hitler? Hitler? Yeah, I'm giving him the hardest right hook of my life. I'm breaking <laughs> his damn neck. What do you think, Theo? <laughs> Sorry, I asked him first. I Send him Wait, from... Question? <laughs> <laughs> send him all the way from... <laughs> Going from we, Germany we all the way in? to the States. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you guys think history can be altered easily? So easily as if if you just snap a butterfly's neck, it would alter the entire history? Are you calling Hitler a butterfly? Hitler's more of a moth, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to have like a proper conversation here. Hitler. <laughs> I still can't get over this. What? Why would she break up with me after I'm spending 15 years in jail for her? Why am I dating the girl that would make- mm -hmm. <laughs> Whoa, She ain't worth it, man. Thank you so much Girls for watching. Girls are evil. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you so much for watching. This was Can You Survive the Butterfly Effect. Did you choose the right answers? We only did it so there was one alternate ending, but this could have gone any other way. So, uh, let us know in the comments what <laughs> you would choose. <laughs> and, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <Nelly>. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bye.